Hello, and welcome back to our decimal checkerboard lesson. This lesson is multiplying a whole number by a decimal. We're going to multiply 123 times 2.3 using our decimal checkerboard map. So I'm going to get my multiplicand, 123. and multiply that by 2.3, 2.3. Remember there's a point right there between any of the green units and the light blue tenths, there's a decimal point. Okay, so 2.3, 123 times 2.3. See if you can see that pretty easily. Okay, so if we remember that multiplying by tenths makes our number smaller, right? We learned that when we did our setup. So today we're going to first multiply by tenths. We're going to first do 123 times. Point three. So when we multiply units by tenths, the answer is in tenths. Therefore, 123 times 0.3 is the same as 12.3 times 3. So let's just go ahead. So we have a whole number. We're going to start up here. 3, 3 times it's really point three times, right? Will give us answers in the tenths. So our answer is going in the tenths. Okay, this is light blue shows tenths. Two tens point three times will have our answer in units. Remember, tens times tenths equals units. And then we have one hundred times 0.3, which when you multiply hundreds by one tenth, your answer will be in tens. Because remember, it's the same as dividing, right? So this is our first partial product. And we can find out what our first partial product is. 3, 3 times is 9. 2, 3 times is six. One three times is three. So it looks like our first partial product is 36.9. Okay. I'm just gonna say our first partial product is 36.9. Let's find our second partial product. So our second partial product will be multiplying by a whole number, won't we? So that's just 123 times 2, right? So let's do that. 3, 2 times, 2, 2 times, and one, two times. Well, let's find out our second partial product. Three and three is six. Two and two is four. Four and one is two. Now it's time to do our slide. Oh, let's record our second partial product. <laughs> our second partial product is 246. Now, when we add our partial 
partial products together, we need to make sure that we have everything in the right place value. 246 is a whole number, there's no tenths. So we can put a zero there or, or not, it doesn't matter. Okay, we're gonna find out what our answer is and then we'll check it with our numbers, okay? So now let's make sure you can see everything. I'm gonna slide my nine down. I'm gonna slide my two sixes down. I've got a four and a three in the tens place and a two in the hundreds place. Okay, so now we wanna get each square to have one bead. So this already just has one bead, but this has two. So six and six is 12. So I'm gonna get 12. Two here and one moves over. Well, this turns this three into a four. So then I have four and four, that's eight. And then I'm left with a two in the hundreds place. So I'm showing let me make sure you can see this too. I'm showing that our answer is 282 and 9 tenths. All right, let's see if that's what we get on paper when we add them up on paper. So first, we always start adding in the smallest unit. Our smallest unit in this problem is tenths. So here is my answer in tenths. Well, six and six, remember when we added those two sixes together? That's 12, we carried over that one. That three became a four, and four and four is eight. And the two was just already a two. That was our answer when we did it using pencil and paper. And this was our answer using beads. Isn't that fun? I'll see you at the next lesson.